Welcome to the project spot. This is AP. Now, today I'm going to show you a video from one of your favorite than them, Charge Your Badness. By now, you have probably seen the two videos in the middle panel. The first video introduced him. The next one, I talk about your favorite artist and how him and Charge Your Badness are war. The picture them on DC, right? Of course, you know, Charge Your Badness not a blue shirt. We did get a video for the picture. And I thought to myself, you know what? Mega, use the picture and left the video for another day. Well, that day is today. Because since we're talking about the whole foreign dance thing, I say, you know what? Let me dig up that video there. Now, full disclosure, right now, as usual, I would like to be straightforward. Just so you're aware, just so there's no doubt, yes, bad man in charge of badness. Right, the, 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 the jag. I'm not going to show you uh, charge charge of badness. Uh, you know, uh, play music for my name, enjoy himself. Bad man in Pete. Okay. So now we have that all the way. Right. You can see a man. I live good life. This is why the community right, in the Iron Man, when he claims a you know, quote unquote runner. Turn upside down. You see the whole Gregor Park war is crazy because the two million people involved, one man that jail, next one that foreign. You would think so, right? That it means nothing can go on. Right? They're not physically in the community. What an so badness work. It's actually the best case scenario for your favorite dam. You can fight a whole war, right, and there is no need for worry about reprisal. At least not against you. Let me play the clip. So that's Charge Your Badness having a grand old time in a Uncle Sam place. You see, if Charge Your Badness was in Ariman, things would be more spooky of him. There'd be a lot more anxiety. Charge Your Badness would have to live like how Wally used to live. Right? And drive go yourself, then change vehicle, then drive go yourself, then change vehicle. Of course, that didn't save Wally in the end. Right? Because if certain people really want, Damn your food, and when your time up as a quote unquote done, then you can change all the vehicle you want to change, you can change all your clothes. Right. Not going to make a difference. But by not being present in the community while the war is going, right, charge your badness is safer than everybody who's left behind in the community. You see, this is somebody who have operations, yard and abroad. When he made his seven them a goal, get too hot, he just say, say, them gone. Man get ticket, left the country, man gone, next part of Iron Man, gone lay low. So as usual, most of the killing is done by the same 5 to 10 youth them or the most of the shootings. And then them get well hot, them left, and then the junior 87 them step up in a film place. Right? Because them always have a set of juvenile around them to replace them. Them juvenile I step with them up on certain local operations and then them learn the trade, learn the murder trade. They might do a one shooting here and there, but you know the more senior 87 is the more take care of more time to kill you. When time the man they get way too hot, charge your badness just alright. Left, take with yourself. You, you are dealing with this now. So now the police is one step behind. Because they might put out 10 men who wanted them to look for them 10 men there, and them 10 men they left the island already. Or them 10 men they gone to my next parish. A number of charge your badness 87 is them, left the country already. On the right side, I'm putting a uncle some place. Right? They don't know a part of his foreign operations. But I just think it's really unfortunate how people that charge the badness. Right? They are firing a moonwalk, right? a jig, right? a bogle, a willy bunks, right? a log on. Meanwhile, the community with them left behind right? look like a war zone. People are pack up them dresser, I pack up them whatnot, right? pack up them sofa, I get ready for runway. People are saying they can't walk on the road, but life is good for the quote unquote down. You see, this is how you jig when you know for sure so you won't be targeted by the ICF. That's the Irish Constable first. That's how happy you are. Right? They can shoot a little video clip and enjoy yourself. Because it's like, what am I going to do? Well, 
but we see how serious they are according to them say the more plan for the foreign than them. It's all fun and games until the first one get made an example out of. I bet the dancing done the same time. A matter of fact, more somebody tell me so. Why charge you? Don't run the war. Think about it. He isn't in the area anymore. Even now I don't know gunshot. Remember? Even now I run from lane to lane. Right now, zinc fence not cut up in foot. This should be the calmest he's ever been, right? Just like your favorite artist. If you must get some money, then the war will done, right? That's how it work? Is that how it work? Charge, you got the break. He got even wickeder. Me already break down the sham song. Remember how it going on. Best friend Richie get two in a him down. Mikey mother fly him out cash to get a loan. Mikey got to find and got to an Al Capone. Make whole heap of money and send in our own. Mikey mother went as far as to get a loan to save Mikey. Because she listened to your favorite scholars. But tell her, say, if you just take him out of the poverty, then peaceful. If you just move him from garden, move him from jungle, move him from Chadiga Park, move him from Salt Spring, then all is well. The woman went as far as to get a loan, probably put up her house or something for collateral, who knows? Maybe her car, who knows? She get a loan. Mikey, go on. See if I today. Right. When, when Mikey got up on the plane, she probably has a smile. He won't be a part of the acidity. He won't be a part of the death and destruction because he ain't gone. Shall we? Remember, remember back in the day when time you could have got to airport? Right. Someone is probably too young to remember that. But there's a time when you could have got to airport and wave off people. And you're there, you're there, you put a wave like in a sense. Do you remember that? And you look at you and say, See him there? See him there? You don't even know for the right person. Just, everybody says, See him there. She probably have a look and say, See my kid there? Eh? See my kid eh? In can. Don't have to worry about him. Don't have to worry about him being a part of this madness. Because Tony Avenue Tony in the war is the and he won't be a part of it. When Mikey go far in them though, get rich and start sending beer gun. Culture. Could have anything with the money. Could him continue the war. But I get him in the blue It's culture. But don't take my road feet still. I don't know this. My thing is for bad minds to come and fight against artists. Make up things to get views. One more thing more on top of. Tell them to say, hey, I'm pro gun. We can do one more do. We can call the police. I could look with that. You be say, yeah, but the reason why people like Shane Darling don't like it is because, you know, guns hurt people and it's because, you know, they don't want people to get hurt. People to get hurt. Link me for our phone and unicorn box. People to get hurt. Lives lot. There are, there are things that are sold in a supermarket right now to kill more people than guns in Jamaica. Can I give you an example? I don't go ball you. can't say that. Trip. You can't say that. Because I, I love this particular product. It's, it's good to me. Which product? Or which products? Let me give you some examples. Right? And then I compare them to something as simple as paper spray. Forget about guns. Because I know I'm not scared of guns. And, and you know. The guns are guns take on a mind of them only to shoot people because they feel like shooting people, right? It's not it's not the man who shoot the person, it's, it's the gun, right? Who just make up his mind to shoot. So I know so I'm afraid of guns. So let me use another example. Forget about guns. Think about this. Tobacco help kill man like dirt. But if you're an adult, you can walk in a shop and buy it. What them say? Smoke responsibly. Make you it nice. Make you make you feel nice. And that alcohol kill off man like dirt. Not just a drinker, but the man who drink get drunk and lick them all ten people. But you can't walk in a shop and buy alcohol, but you can't walk in a shop and buy paper spray. Don't you find that weird? Something like a paper spray. Non-lethal. You can't walk in a shop and buy it. To this day, even politicians don't understand how the law works surrounding paper spray. I mean, think about 
a nurse leaving Wyndham Hospital in the Ironman, Spanish Town Hospital or KPH, evening time, and she said, Boy, I feel kind of nervous now. So I'm go buy one pepper spray and I'm another store. Yeah. That's how easy it should be. If somebody misuses the pepper spray, use it wrongfully, then charge them with whatever. Mr. Minister, fail, tell me this. Which one of them things uh, can clog up the health system more? In an Uncle Sam place, them average 140,000 people dead every year because of alcohol related deaths. They don't bother talk about tobacco. They don't even talk about some of the medicine where they sell legally in a pharmacy. Have you ever seen the Tobacco Licensing Authority? Have you ever seen the Alcohol Licensing Authority? Oh, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, but that's different because a man can take a gun and, and shot somebody. And shot somebody else. Oh, so I can't get drunk on it, don't get in school else. Could have fooled me. Let's cut the crap. Because tobacco, alcohol, enough for the garbage food, right? Whether my selling in our stores. Right? Kill off more people. But you fear legally owned guns, but you don't fear the buckle around. Because of marketing and branding, and this is sponsored by this and sponsored by that. Why, when it comes on to alcohol, that is the actual killer? The government say drink responsibly. That's as far as it go. Drink responsibly. But pepper spray, then can not say carry responsibly. You don't find that weird? Drink responsibly, smoke responsibly. Eat responsibly. But pepper spray, no, no, no. You, you can't be responsible for this. So ask yourself the question, why when it comes on with something like kill man like dirt, them trust you to be responsible. Right? But when it comes on to something that can potentially save your life and your family life and your neighbor life, them say, you know, you're not responsible and we don't want man go do this and man go do that. Why them not worry, say, when I get drunk and kill people? So since people legally owning guns is terrible, right? ask them why you can't walk in a store and buy the passport. Why it's not readily available. So next time somebody tell you about it's because we're trying to protect you and protect others. Ask them why can't I walk into a store and buy pepper spray, but we can't walk in there and buy this liquid that will put more money at the grave this year alone than pepper spray will put at the grave the next 100 years. And by the way, I'm not against alcohol. And, hey, drink what you want, drink and smoke what you want, smoke. But keep the same energy. And you can't say, well, me no say me not go destroy my liver. Or me not go drink and kill nobody. Me not get drunk and kill nobody. No, I'm not say word. It's about protecting you from yourself. Because we don't know what's going to happen next week. Remember? Them say you can't own guns because you might get upset and shoot somebody. Well, you can't drink the liquor because you might get drunk. And it don't go 10 people on the side of the road. Hey, I'm just using your logic. Anyway, Patreon squad, big up on the cell. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, no life. Vulture squad, stay circling. Bless.